hi, hello guys, uh, Vigo Man here, welcome back to Vigo Craft, some single player survival, how are you guys doing, I hope you're doing great as usual, I know I am, I'm feeling a little bit tired right now, uh, but I'm always stoked for some more recording and I, I really want to get a video out for you guys uh, on this Saturday here. With some more survival for you because I would like to get this video craft series out every Saturday uh, just to kind of have a schedule at least on this series here and then I will publish and push out videos from the Legion server and just stuff like that as frequently as possible uh, because I, I want to have some kind of schedule and some kind of randomness to my to my channel so as you might uh, can see, I have been playing a lot of camera here or in between episodes. And that is because we had a stream last week. Um, like on Sunday I do believe. Yeah on Sunday. Uh, we had a stream where we did a whole bunch of work. Like two hours of streaming and which is great great fun. Thank you for everyone tuning in. So if you want to uh, check out the next stream be sure to uh Check me out on Beam and follow me and stuff like that. And make sure to tune in on the next stream we got. And in today's episode, uh, we are still just going to get some get settled down a little bit more. Because I don't feel like I'm ready to start building a base just yet. I just have to settle down a little bit more before I do that. Uh, so I think we might gonna do on like go on a small exploring trip like and stuff like that. Just having a look around. Do I have any food? I have a little bit of melons and some beef on me. Yeah, let's uh, let's just start going, I guess. Uh, drop off some jazz we don't really need. Like this. Golden apples can always be good. Let's actually drop off the iron pick, uh, the diamond pickaxe. Uh, we don't need a hoe, we don't need the quartz, we don't need arrows. I don't have a bow yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just in the beginning phases of the Minecraft series here. So I really need to um, just get settled down a little bit more before we start developing a cool style and stuff like that for um, for my base. So I've been thinking a whole bunch of how I want to make this base. And I've talked to you guys a little bit about it. That I want to go some kind of post-apocalyptic, modern... It's really hard to say, but some kind of shelter after uh, some kind of zombie apocalypse style. I don't, I don't think that's like... It's not a style, but you, you kind of, I hope you get what I'm thinking. Uh, like this valley here is some kind of stronghold where, uh, uh, well, at least me and perhaps some other people, let's just pretend, uh, have survived after the zombies attacked us. I don't know. I, I'm not really a big fan of zombie series. I haven't really watched The Walking Dead, so I don't really know all the stuff. But um, I just thought it could be a really cool idea. And it's a style and, and that I never, I never tried before, actually. So... Could be really cool to uh, try to develop or develop some building skills in uh, that particular style, but I, I'm wondering a little bit if I should go like more of a modern style on it, go a little bit more of a futuristic sci-fi style. What the crap? <laughs> and uh, try to keep it, you know, uh, like space themed almost. Like we are in some kind of future, or if I want to make it like rustic, uh, like the uh, the whole civilization broke down and we are now living in the ashes of the great civilization on Earth and stuff. I don't know. And uh, really trying to figure out a cool plot for uh, Vigo Craft this season here. So if you guys have any good suggestions, uh, you could help me decide a little bit. Should we go for? Uh, super modern. Oh, that's a village over there. Let's head over there. That's awesome. And some bunnies. Bunny, bunny, bunny. I think he's scared of me of some sort. <laughs> I think all of them are. I I'm a little bit terrified. You know, I'm like an Iron Titan here coming with my, my stuff. Oh, there's some melons as well. No, that's not melons. That's pumpkins. I love pumpkins as well. We can take those so we can get use of them. But there's a village over there, we need to block that off uh, really quite quickly, so uh, we spare the villagers for a future project. Because, uh, as you know, I want to keep this series here super technical, where we, uh, over a long period of time, just keep on building farms, expanding and expanding, and getting more and more professional. This area doesn't look too bad, though. We like the maze and the background, and we have some... Pass and stuff. Yeah, this is 
really cool. This is definitely really cool. And over there are some mine shafts and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's pretty pretty awesome, yeah. Uh, is there anything we can loot here though? That's the big question. What are you? You're a cleric, yeah. Uh, I don't have anything for you. But since you're already in here, let me... Ah, uh, crap! I actually dropped off the cobblestone. That was a bad idea. And there's no chest in here, right? Nope. But there's a librarian. Do you have any good trades? Huh? Oh, it's a cartographer. Oh, that's cool. I'm keeping him. Something like that. And... Is there anyone in here? Hello? Hello? Yeah, you're a librarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power 2... I guess I'm keeping you as well, like that. There's a blacksmith here. Does that mean there's a blacksmith around here? Aren't you a blacksmith? A toolsmith. I'm breaking two. Uh, I think there should be a blacksmith around here then. I might be wrong though. Ah, uh, it doesn't seem like I'm right. I can't see... No, there's no blacksmith around here. So yeah, as I said before, I want this series here to be like more of a personal where I just tune in and I... Play a little bit together with you guys. Not really uh, making much progress in one video like I do on Atlassian Server. Atlassian Server is kind of my main series where I want to do the great farms and yeah, just have like massive uh, structures built on camera together with you guys. I, I don't really feel like doing that in this season here or the video craft. I want to just tag you, have you guys along with me while I. Do some random stuff, discovering stuff. Is this carrots? No, that's potatoes. Potatoes? Uh, that's carrots, so let's bring a little bit of all back home. That is awesome. Is there any more villagers we can uh, lock in here? Hello, is there anyone here? No, you're not home. Is there anyone else home then? Nope. Hello? Nope. Knock, knock. You, you don't even have a door, man. Why did I say knock, knock? Then I just burst straight into you. Um, I might come back when it's starting to get a little bit darker as they run into their houses, I guess. Um, and then try to capture them in in their uh, houses there so we can come back and grab them later. And they will not be eaten up by some freaking sunbirds. Look at that minecart over there. I feel like that's a little bit misplaced. Yeah. I feel like the... Generation for oh 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 I'm taking this. Uh, I feel like the generation for the mine shafts in the mesa is a kind of a little bit wonky. You see how we kind of just have some random blocks everywhere like this. You know it goes down a little bit here. <gasps> oh oh no oh oh uh, <laughs> derp <laughs> spider. Nope nope nope. Uh, we did, uh, we discovered a whole bunch of what is that over there? Okay, it's just sand. We discovered a whole bunch of uh, the mine shafts in this live stream. So if you haven't seen that, I would recommend you to go back and watch it. It's we had so much fun together. Uh, I think it should be called like uh, live stream replay, uh, Vigo Craft or something. I don't really know. I don't really remember. Uh, can we go down here? And oh no no oh, crap! You die! Oh, you go dead, buddy. Come on now. Okay. Well, I I, I kind of want to get out now. I, I know. Crap. This is horrible. Uh, let's get out. Let's get out. I'm out of here. I don't really want to be around here. Where did I come from? Is this where I come from? Is this? Yeah, I think this was. Yeah, that's the village. Okay, um, not going in there right now. I'm not really prepared for that. Uh, but let's just uh, scout through the openings here if we can see any minecarts. And not go too hard into these cave systems here. It's a dead end. Oh, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. So I just want to take a few minutes here thanking you guys for the awesome support the last couple of uh, days. You guys have been amazing. Every time I open up my YouTube on my either my phone or on my my PC and stuff, you guys have left me tons of comments, tons of likes and tons of views. It's awesome. Lately I've been getting the the comment rate has increased by 65% if I remember correctly. It might have even 
increased a little bit more lately because I'm getting a couple more comments uh, since the last time I checked. So you guys have been really truly amazing and it really makes my day. You know I put a lot of effort into these videos. Uh, there goes like an hour of recording into it and then like an hour of editing and then uploading and writing a title and all the jazz you know. It really takes a lot of time. So uh, did you guys show support and leaving likes and stuff like that really just uh, makes me sure that you appreciate what I do and it gives me more motivation to put in a lot of more effort into every single video to keep me going and stuff like that. So I just want to thank you guys. Uh, you guys have been amazing. And also if you like this video, uh, some like baiting is coming right here. <laughs> uh, make sure to like it again. Press that like button if you feel like it really helps me out because the way YouTube has changed their algorithm so that they want to get more of this really really popular videos out instead of having people watch uh, like a series like VigoCraft or Relational Server. They want to have more more bigger and more viewed videos instead of more viewed series if that makes sense. So uh, if you like this uh, make sure to leave a like on this video here and my other videos as well. It really helps out my channel and it will increase your chance of getting these videos as recommended and stuff like that. Um, I just hope I don't get lost here. Let's put out our bed. Crap, I didn't bring my bed. Oh dude, I'm so dead now. Uh, I better run back. <laughs> oh no, I'm such a derp. I'm such a derp. But next episode, I was thinking that we... Um, is that a witch? No, that's not a witch. It's stupid idiot Vigo. That is not a witch. <laughs> uh, next episode, I think we should start working on our base a little bit because I think it's time that uh, we start settle down a little bit at least. Oh crap! I'm not going to make this, am I? I I'm a dead person. Uh, okay, so there's the mesa. The mesa is a little bit easier to manerate in because there's not many trees and stuff to run into. But also, it's very steep and very, very rocky, you know. But yeah, next episode we are going to at least try to do a couple of buildings. So there's one, I hope. Uh, I have like a few ideas, but as I've told you, I'm not really sure of how I want to to go with the style. Another possibility would be to make like a combination of uh, rustic, modern, like rustic apocalypse style uh, and mix that in with some modern so that we have, we have some kind of uh, ruins kind of and we have built like a modern lab on top of the old ruins to make it uh, just use the old ruins as our new shelter. I think that could be pretty cool as well. So let me know guys what you think of what kind of style. Should we go for a rustic, like uh, a bonded look? Some kind of zombie shelter made out of scrap we found, you know, just the rest of the civilization. Or should we... Oh, can I get up here? That would be awesome. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm so pro. Uh, or should we go for a completely modern, like sci-fi, space themed almost? Hello, creeper! You don't even see me, do you, you stupid idiot? Uh, there's the village. Should we run over there quickly and block off the entrances? I think we should do so. really think that would be a smart idea to keep as many of the villagers as possible. I also just got villagers on the Atlishino server, so I've been starting to play a little bit around with them. We had a really fun episode, uh, last episode, episode 64 from the Atlishino server. You guys really seem to enjoy that one. Uh, I had so many comments of how great that episode was. Even though I was a little bit unsure myself. But you guys really just showed your support and love. And it really made my day. Uh, so uh, if you want to see me play a little bit of villagers. I have never done it before. Uh, I would recommend you to check out that video. Okay, so are you in here now? How many is you? Am I interrupting something? Clearly I am. Uh, and then... Oh, there's a witch. You are also in here. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, block you off, and then the rest is blocked off. That is awesome. That is awesome. So yeah, we're going to play a whole bunch with villagers. I have a. I also have like another plan I want to, want to do in the series here. Oh, mobs, freaking mobs everywhere. I want to, 
try to capture all of the how many is there five zombie types or I guess like uh, yeah it's almost like zombie types I guess we can call them zombies and you have the normal zombie you have the villager zombie then you have the stray I know it's some kind of skeleton but also it kind of looks like looks like a zombie of some sort like a white walker from the Game of Thrones series which is the best series freaking ever man uh, and then we have the husk uh, how many are we now? Four? The husk, yeah, it's like the desert desert zombie. And then we have the, um, the zombie pigmen. And something, since we since we are going to have like this uh, zombie apocalypse, post-zombie apocalypse style for this, uh, at least the beginning of this series here, we are going to expand with a lot of different bases, hopefully in, in the future, if this series is uh, successful. But uh, in the beginning, I think we should go for like, you know, post-apocalyptic style. And how cool would it be if we captured one of this different, of all of the different zombie stuff. So we'll have uh, one normal zombie and villager zombie, husk, stray, you know, all the jazz. Hello, skeletons. Uh, is this a party? I think the party just, just started, man. Oh, what the crap. Stop fighting buddies, coming in here and stealing the kills, like a really derp. So we should be really close to my base now, I think. Or am I completely lost? Well actually there's a good chance I am. Um, this is not my base, is it? Oh yeah, there's torches down there, that means it might be my base. Uh, Skellington and Quipper! Blah, blah, blah. You die. Okay. Yeah, I also got a lot of diamond tools. I don't think I told you that. Oh, creepers be creeping. Follow me down here. Uh, I got a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. And I also have a few diamonds laying around. Eight diamonds. Because we did a lot of digging together in the stream. So we found a couple of diamonds. I've also been playing a little bit of camera. Look at all those freaking creepers up there. Is there a party I'm missing out on or something? Well, I don't really want to hang with those guys. They kind of kind of ruins the party a little bit, I think. But uh, I think that's all I have time for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. So be sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done already, be sure to subscribe. It's been Vega Man, and I'm out.